Well, from my perspective, today's a good day. I'm completely free. Sorry, today's completely out. I've got a seminar with my postgrads in 15 minutes and an exams board meeting from one till six. Um, what about Tuesday afternoon? Tuesday afternoon? No, can't do that one. I'm taking my kids to their mindfulness session. Mindfulness? Aren't they a bit young? No, not at all. It's a bespoke session. Mindfulness for the under fives. There's a lot of stress experience in nursery settings, according to some interesting research that came out of the LSE last year. Mm, I can imagine them. Um, the sandpit conflict must be dreadful. Well, come on then, when will you be free? Right, I've got a window between three and four on Wednesday. Yes, that's... Oh, damn, I've got the interdepartmental five side match. Oh, come on, surely you can give up your footy for once? Hardly. It's my slot on the rotor. The rotor? <laughs> you have a rotor to organise a kickabout? We've had to. Ever since the ruling came in last term that all staff sports teams, however informal, had to observe a strict gender balance. So how do you achieve a gender balance when it's five aside? Two men, two women and one... Well, not quite, though that might come in quite soon, actually. No, we have to have three women and two men each time in order to correct historical masculine hegemony in middle-aged, middle-class sports settings. But there are only three women in the department who want to be in the team, as compared with about 12 men, so I only get to play one game in six. Anyway, this match is against philosophy. Always a bit of a grudge fixture. They're notorious for lying and cheating. Okay, so not Wednesday afternoon then. Okay, so how about first thing on Wednesday? Say about eight? You could bring coffee and croissants. Ooh, nice idea. Oh, I'm on that disciplinary panel from early on at Senate House. You know, poor old Professor Masters is on a charge of dipping below the quota set for the number of first degrees to be awarded in his subject. Ouch. What's his defence? He says last year's final students were a dull and uninspiring lot, and none of them deserve to be marked any higher. He's completely right, of course. Oh yes, but that's totally irrelevant to what grades you actually award them, isn't it? Yes, of course. <laughs> he really ought to know that by now. Right, look, concentrates. I could move a few tutorials around and create some space on Thursday afternoon. Mm. No, no go, I'm afraid. I've got that faculty meeting to discuss whether the concept of English literature is inherently racist. Presumably the objection is to the use of the term English? No, apparently the view is that calling literature, well, literature, implies an ethnocentric and colonialist mindset. Uh, of course, yes. Okay, final offer. Friday lunchtime. Friday lunchtime. Ah. Oh. Yes. Between one and two? Uh-huh. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> It'll be just after I give my lecture for the gender fluidity option on whether the lectures are implicitly and subconsciously patriarchal. Always goes down really well. Mm. That'll put me in just the right mood for our meeting. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, you better put it in your calendar now while the slot's still free. Right, okay. Between one and two, Robert FS. FS? For sex. Oh, yes, I see. <laughs> In case you might forget the reason for the meeting by next week. Absolutely. Oh, and then you? My office? Oh, yes, mine's a bit cramped, uh, as you may recall from last time. Um, well, good, that's settled then. I'll just put in the details at Fiona's office, one till two, Friday, F, F. Oh, hang on. Hang on, what about your windows? My windows? Yes, your wind your actual office windows. You haven't had the blinds fixed. Someone might see us. Oh, come on, Robert. Where's your spontaneity? 